What's your favorite song? Oh, I really love Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. How about you? What's your favorite song? Oh, I really love Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. How about you? Do you have a go to favorite song? Absolutely. Shape of You by Ed Sheeran never fails to make my day better. Do you have a go to favorite song? Absolutely. Shape of You by Ed Sheeran never fails to make my day better. Can you share your all time favorite song with me? Without a doubt, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen is my ultimate favorite. What about you? Can you share your all time favorite song with me? Without a doubt, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen is my ultimate favorite. What about you? What's a song you never get tired of listening to? Don't Stop Believin' by Journey is timeless, and I can listen to it on repeat. What's a song you never get tired of listening to? Don't Stop Believin' by Journey is timeless, and I can listen to it on repeat. Is there a specific genre your favorite song falls into? My favorite song, Havana, by Camila Cabello, is from the pop genre. How about yours? Is there a specific genre your favorite song falls into? My favorite song, Havana, by Camila Cabello, is from the pop genre. How about yours? Does your favorite song hold any sentimental value for you? Yes, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston reminds me of special moments. What's yours? Does your favorite song hold any sentimental value for you? Yes. I Will Always Love You, by Whitney Houston reminds me of special moments. What's yours? Have you ever seen your favorite song performed live? I was lucky enough to see, Stairway to Heaven, by Led Zeppelin live once. It was unforgettable. How about you? Have you ever seen your favorite song performed live? I was lucky enough to see Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin live once. It was unforgettable. How about you? Are there any memories attached to your favorite song? Someone Like You by Adele brings back memories of a significant chapter in my life. What about yours? Are there any memories attached to your favorite song? Someone Like You by Adele brings back memories of a significant chapter in my life. What about yours? Do you have a favorite song from a specific time in your life? Hotline Bling by Drake was my anthem during my college years. What's your go-to college song? Do you have a favorite song from a specific time in your life? Hotline Bling by Drake was my anthem during my college years. What's your go-to college song? What's the first song that comes to mind when you think of your favorite? When I think of my favorite, Uptown Funk, by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars immediately plays in my head. How about you? What's the first song that comes to mind when you think of your favorite? 
When I Think of My Favorite, Uptown Funk, by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars immediately plays in my head. How about you? Does your favorite song have a catchy chorus or meaningful lyrics? Wannabe, by Spice Girls has a catchy chorus, and the lyrics are pure nostalgia for me. What about your favorite? Does your favorite song have a catchy chorus or meaningful lyrics? Wannabe, by Spice Girls has a catchy chorus, and the lyrics are pure nostalgia for me. What about your favorite? Are there any hidden gems in your favorite song's album? The entire album of Abbey Road by The Beatles is a masterpiece, with hidden gems like something. Have you explored your favorite album deeply? Are there any hidden gems in your favorite song's album? The entire album of Abbey Road by The Beatles is a masterpiece, with hidden gems like something. Have you explored your favorite album deeply? Is your favorite song by a solo artist or a band? Imagine, by John Lennon is my favorite, and it's by a solo artist. What about yours? Is your favorite song by a solo artist or a band? Imagine, by John Lennon is my favorite, and it's by a solo artist. What about yours? Do you prefer listening to your favorite song with headphones or speakers? I love blasting, Dance Monkey, by Tones and I through speakers to feel the energy. How do you enjoy your favorite song? Do you prefer listening to your favorite song with headphones or speakers? I love blasting, Dance Monkey, by Tones and I through speakers to feel the energy. How do you enjoy your favorite song? Have you ever dedicated your favorite song to someone? Perfect by Ed Sheeran is the song I dedicated to my significant other. Have you dedicated your favorite to anyone? Have you ever dedicated your favorite song to someone? Perfect, by Ed Sheeran is the song I dedicated to my significant other. Have you dedicated your favorite to anyone? If your favorite song had a music video, what would the theme be? I imagine a vibrant and dreamy visual for Sugar by Maroon 5, full of joy and celebration. How about your favorite? If your favorite song had a music video, what would the theme be? I imagine a vibrant and dreamy visual for Sugar by Maroon 5, full of joy and celebration. How about your favorite? Is there a cover version of your favorite song that you enjoy? I really enjoy the acoustic cover of Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. Have you heard any interesting covers of your favorite? Is there a cover version of your favorite song that you enjoy? I really enjoy the acoustic cover of Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. Have you heard any interesting covers of your favorite? Does your favorite song inspire you creatively in any way? Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Judy Garland inspires me to dream big and stay optimistic. Does your favorite have a similar effect on you? Does your favorite song inspire you creatively in any way? Somewhere Over the Rainbow, 
by Judy Garland inspires me to dream big and stay optimistic. Does your favorite have a similar effect on you? What's your favorite song to sing along to? Shallow, by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper is my go-to sing-along song. What's yours? What's your favorite song to sing along to? Shallow, by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper is my go-to sing-along song. What's yours? Do you have a favorite song from a movie soundtrack? My Heart Will Go On, by Celine Dion from Titanic is not just a movie soundtrack but also my all-time favorite song. What about yours? Do you have a favorite song from a movie soundtrack? My Heart Will Go On, by Celine Dion from Titanic is not just a movie soundtrack but also my all-time favorite song. What about yours? Is your favorite song by a well-known artist or a hidden gem? My favorite, Take Me to Church, by Hosier, felt like a hidden gem before it became popular. What about yours? Is your favorite song by a well-known artist or a hidden gem? My favorite, Take Me to Church, by Hosier, felt like a hidden gem before it became popular. What about yours? Does your favorite song have a specific dance move or routine associated with it? Gangnam Style, by Psy has that iconic dance, and it's so much fun to imitate. Does your favorite have a signature dance? Does your favorite song have a specific dance move or routine associated with it? Gangnam Style, by Psy has that iconic dance, and it's so much fun to imitate. Does your favorite have a signature dance? Is there a specific season or time of day when you enjoy listening to your favorite song the most? Summertime Sadness by Lana Del Rey hits differently during the warm evenings for me. How about your favorite? Is there a specific season or time of day when you enjoy listening to your favorite song the most? Summertime Sadness, by Lana Del Rey hits differently during the warm evenings for me. How about your favorite? Are there any unique instruments in your favorite song that stand out to you? The bagpipes in, It's My Life, by Bon Jovi give the song a unique touch. What about your favorite? Are there any unique instruments in your favorite song that stand out to you? The Bagpipes in, It's My Life, by Bon Jovi give the song a unique touch. What about your favorite? Have you ever dedicated your favorite song to a friend or family member? I dedicated, Lean On Me by Bill Withers to my best friend during a challenging time. Have you shared your favorite with someone special? Have you ever dedicated your favorite song to a friend or family member? I dedicated, Lean on Me, by Bill Withers to my best friend during a challenging time. Have you shared your favorite with someone special? If your favorite song had a color, what would it be? Purple Haze, by Jimi Hendrix feels like it would be a deep, vibrant purple. What color do you associate with your favorite? If your favorite song had a color, what would it be? 
Purple Haze, by Jimi Hendrix feels like it would be a deep, vibrant purple. What color do you associate with your favorite? Is there a specific concert or music event where you discovered your favorite song? I discovered Viva La Vida by Coldplay at a music festival, and it instantly became my favorite. How did you come across yours? Is there a specific concert or music event where you discovered your favorite song? I discovered Viva La Vida by Coldplay at a music festival, and it instantly became my favorite. How did you come across yours? Does your favorite song bring out any specific emotions in you? Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi always tugs at my heartstrings. Does your favorite evoke strong emotions? Does your favorite song bring out any specific emotions in you? Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi always tugs at my heartstrings. Does your favorite evoke strong emotions? If your favorite song could teleport you anywhere, where would it take you? Africa by Toto would transport me to a serene beach with clear blue water. Where would your favorite song take you? If your favorite song could teleport you anywhere, where would it take you? Africa, by Toto would transport me to a serene beach with clear blue water. Where would your favorite song take you? Is there a specific lyric in your favorite song that resonates with you the most? The line, I'm on the pursuit of happiness, from Pursuit of Happiness, by Kid Cudi is my mantra. How about your favorite's lyrics? Is there a specific lyric in your favorite song that resonates with you the most? The line, I'm on the pursuit of happiness, from Pursuit of Happiness, by Kid Cudi is my mantra. How about your favorite's lyrics? Does your favorite song have a music video that you find visually captivating? The visuals in Take On Me by AHA are iconic and timeless. What about your favorite song's music video? Does your favorite song have a music video that you find visually captivating? The visuals in Take On Me by AHA are iconic and timeless. What about your favorite song's music video? Would you say your favorite song has a nostalgic or contemporary feel? Sweet Child O oh Mine by Guns N' Roses has a nostalgic charm that I love. Does your favorite feel more nostalgic or contemporary? Would you say your favorite song has a nostalgic or contemporary feel? Sweet Child O oh Mine by Guns N' Roses has a nostalgic charm that I love. Does your favorite feel more nostalgic or contemporary? Is there a particular setting where your favorite song sounds the best? Hotel California by Eagles sounds best when driving along scenic routes. Where does your favorite song shine the brightest? Is there a particular setting where your favorite song sounds the best? Hotel California, by Eagles sounds best when driving along scenic routes. Where does your favorite song shine the brightest? Does your favorite song have a memorable intro that you can't get enough of? The haunting piano intro in 
Clocks, by Coldplay always gives me chills. What about your favorite's intro? Does your favorite song have a memorable intro that you can't get enough of? The haunting piano intro in Clocks, by Coldplay always gives me chills. What about your favorite's intro? Is there a specific artist or band you associate with your favorite song? Shape of You, by Ed Sheeran will always be synonymous with his name for me. How about your favorite? Is there a specific artist or band you associate with your favorite song? Shape of You, by Ed Sheeran will always be synonymous with his name for me. How about your favorite? Does your favorite song have a message or theme that resonates with you? What's Going On, by Marvin Gaye's message about social issues really speaks to me. Does your favorite have a powerful message? Does your favorite song have a message or theme that resonates with you? What's Going On, by Marvin Gaye's message about social issues really speaks to me. Does your favorite have a powerful message? Is there a live performance of your favorite song that you find particularly outstanding? Queen's live performance of Bohemian Rhapsody at Wembley Stadium is legendary. Have you seen an unforgettable live performance of your favorite? Is there a live performance of your favorite song that you find particularly outstanding? Queen's live performance of Bohemian Rhapsody at Wembley Stadium is legendary. Have you seen an unforgettable live performance of your favorite? Does your favorite song have a specific tempo that you find energizing? The upbeat tempo of Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake is perfect for lifting my spirits. How about your favorite's tempo? Does your favorite song have a specific tempo that you find energizing? The upbeat tempo of Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake is perfect for lifting my spirits. How about your favorite's tempo? Is there a specific genre you usually lean towards when choosing your favorite songs? I tend to favor pop rock, and Sugar, We're Going Down, by Fall Out Boy is a great example. What's your go-to genre for favorites? Is there a specific genre you usually lean towards when choosing your favorite songs? I tend to favor pop rock, and Sugar, We're Going Down, by Fall Out Boy is a great example. What's your go-to genre for favorites? Have you ever created a playlist with your favorite song as the centerpiece? I have a playlist dedicated entirely to Wake Me Up by Avicii. Do you have a playlist centered around your favorite? Have you ever created a playlist with your favorite song as the centerpiece? I have a playlist dedicated entirely to Wake Me Up by Avicii. Do you have a playlist centered around your favorite? Does your favorite song have a memorable instrumental solo that stands out to you? The guitar solo in Hotel California by Eagles is unforgettable. What about your favorite song's instrumental solo? Does your favorite song have a memorable instrumental solo that stands out to you? The guitar solo in Hotel California by Eagles is unforgettable. 
What about your favorite song's instrumental solo? Is there a specific memory you associate with hearing your favorite song for the first time? The first time I heard Rolling in the Deep by Adele was during a road trip, and it's stuck with me ever since. What's your first memory of your favorite? Is there a specific memory you associate with hearing your favorite song for the first time? The first time I heard Rolling in the Deep by Adele was during a road trip, and it's stuck with me ever since. What's your first memory of your favorite? Does your favorite song have a remix or alternate version that you enjoy? The acoustic version of Dance Monkey by Tones and I is just as fantastic as the original. Have you explored different versions of your favorite? Does your favorite song have a remix or alternate version that you enjoy? The acoustic version of Dance Monkey by Tones and I is just as fantastic as the original. Have you explored different versions of your favorite? Is there a specific mood or occasion when you prefer listening to your favorite song? Happy by Pharrell Williams is my go-to for lifting my spirits on a gloomy day. When do you usually listen to your favorite? Is there a specific mood or occasion when you prefer listening to your favorite song? Happy by Pharrell Williams is my go-to for lifting my spirits on a gloomy day. When do you usually listen to your favorite? Is there a specific cover of your favorite song that you find impressive? The cover of Billie Jean by Chris Cornell is hauntingly beautiful. Have you come across any outstanding covers of your favorite? Is there a specific cover of your favorite song that you find impressive? The cover of Billie Jean by Chris Cornell is hauntingly beautiful. Have you come across any outstanding covers of your favorite? Does your favorite song have a powerful climax or build-up that you love? The build-up to the chorus in Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen is legendary. What about your favorite's climactic moments? Does your favorite song have a powerful climax or build-up that you love? The build-up to the chorus in Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen is legendary. What about your favorite's climactic moments? Is there a specific lyric in your favorite song that you find particularly clever or poetic? The lyric with the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride, from Dark Horse, by Katy Perry is cleverly written. What about your favorite's lyrics? Is there a specific lyric in your favorite song that you find particularly clever or poetic? The lyric, with the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride, from Dark Horse by Katy Perry as cleverly written. What about your favorite's lyrics? Does your favorite song have a connection to a specific place or city? Empire State of Mind, by Jay-Z and Alicia Keys is forever linked to New York City for me. How about your favorite? Does your favorite song have a connection to a specific place or city? Empire State of Mind by Jay-Z and Alicia Keys is forever linked to New York City for me. How about your favorite? 
Is there an artist collaboration in your favorite song that you find surprising but works well? The collaboration between Eminem and Rihanna in Love the Way You Lie is unexpected but brilliant. Any surprising collaborations in your favorite? Is there an artist collaboration in your favorite song that you find surprising but works well? The collaboration between Eminem and Rihanna in Love the Way You Lie is unexpected but brilliant. Any surprising collaborations in your favorite? Does your favorite song have a memorable outro that leaves a lasting impression? The haunting outro of The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel is truly unforgettable. What about your favorite's outro? Does your favorite song have a memorable outro that leaves a lasting impression? The haunting outro of The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel is truly unforgettable. What about your favorite's outro? Is there a specific instrument in your favorite song that you find particularly impressive? The saxophone solo in Hairless Whisper by George Michael is absolutely mesmerizing. What about your favorite standout instrument? Is there a specific instrument in your favorite song that you find particularly impressive? The saxophone solo in Careless Whisper by George Michael is absolutely mesmerizing. What about your favorite standout instrument? Does your favorite song have a music video storyline that you find intriguing? The narrative in the music video for Take Me to Church by Hosier is thought-provoking. What about your favorite song's music video storyline? Does your favorite song have a music video storyline that you find intriguing? The narrative in the music video for Take Me to Church by Hosier is thought-provoking. What about your favorite song's music video storyline? Is there a specific line in your favorite song that you find inspiring or motivational? The line, You're Gonna Hear Me Roar, from Roar, by Katy Perry is empowering. What about your favorite's inspirational lines? Is there a specific line in your favorite song that you find inspiring or motivational? The line, You're Gonna Hear Me Roar, from Roar, by Katy Perry is empowering. What about your favorite's inspirational lines? Is there a specific song lyric that you find relatable to your own life? The lyric, I'm not a perfect person, from The Reason, by Hoobastank hits close to home for me. What about your favorite's relatable lyrics? Is there a specific song lyric that you find relatable to your own life? The lyric, I'm not a perfect person, from The Reason, by Hoobastank hits close to home for me. What about your favorite's relatable lyrics? Does your favorite song have a tempo or rhythm that you find soothing or calming? Something by The Beatles has a soothing rhythm that I find incredibly calming. How about your favorite's rhythm? Does your favorite song have a tempo or rhythm that you find soothing or calming? Something by The Beatles has a soothing rhythm that I find incredibly calming. How about your favorite's rhythm?
Is there a specific song that you consider your guilty pleasure? Wannabe by Spice Girls is my guilty pleasure. It's just so catchy. Do you have a guilty pleasure song? Is there a specific song that you consider your guilty pleasure? Wannabe by Spice Girls is my guilty pleasure. It's just so catchy. Do you have a guilty pleasure song? Is there a specific memory where your favorite song played a significant role? I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston played during my graduation, making it a significant memory. What about your favorite's role in your memories? Is there a specific memory where your favorite song played a significant role? I Will Always Love You, by Whitney Houston played during my graduation, making it a significant memory. What about your favorite's role in your memories? Does your favorite song have a unique time signature or musical structure that stands out to you? The time signature changes in Money by Pink Floyd add a fascinating complexity to the song. What about your favorite's musical structure? Does your favorite song have a unique time signature or musical structure that stands out to you? The time signature changes in Money by Pink Floyd add a fascinating complexity to the song. What about your favorite's musical structure? Is there a specific song lyric that you find humorous or witty in your favorite? The lyric, This shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. From Hollaback Girl by Gwen Stefani always makes me smile. What about your favorite's humorous lines? Is there a specific song lyric that you find humorous or witty in your favorite? The lyric, This shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S, from, Hollaback Girl, by Gwen Stefani always makes me smile. What about your favorite's humorous lines? Is there a specific era or decade of music that your favorite song represents for you? Sweet Child O' Mine, by Guns N' Roses embodies the spirit of the 80s rock scene for me. How about your favorite's representation of an era? Is there a specific era or decade of music that your favorite song represents for you? Sweet Child O' Mine, by Guns N' Roses embodies the spirit of the 80s rock scene for me. How about your favorite's representation of an era? Does your favorite song have a memorable bridge or instrumental break that you love? The guitar solo in the bridge of November Rain by Guns N' Roses is breathtaking. What about your favorite's bridge or instrumental break? Does your favorite song have a memorable bridge or instrumental break that you love? The guitar solo in the bridge of November Rain by Guns N' Roses is breathtaking. What about your favorite's bridge or instrumental break? Is there a specific song that you associate with a road trip or travel experience? On the Road Again, by Willie Nelson is my road trip anthem. Do you have a specific travel song? Is there a specific song that you associate with a road trip or travel experience? On the Road Again, by Willie Nelson is my road trip anthem. Do you have a specific travel song? 
Does your favorite song have a specific genre crossover that you find interesting? The fusion of country and pop in Old Town Road by Lil Nas X is a fascinating genre crossover. What about your favorite's genre mix? Does your favorite song have a specific genre crossover that you find interesting? The fusion of country and pop in Old Town Road by Lil Nas X is a fascinating genre crossover. What about your favorite's genre mix? Is there a specific song lyric that you find mysterious or enigmatic in your favorite? The line, The Riddle of the Model, from I'm on Fire, by Bruce Springsteen has a mysterious allure. What about your favorite's mysterious lines? Is there a specific song lyric that you find mysterious or enigmatic in your favorite? The line, The Riddle of the Model, from I'm on Fire, by Bruce Springsteen has a mysterious allure. What about your favorite's mysterious lines? Does your favorite song have a unique chord progression that you find captivating? The chord progression in With or Without You by U2 creates a hauntingly beautiful atmosphere. How about your favorite's chord progression? Does your favorite song have a unique chord progression that you find captivating? The chord progression in With or Without You by U2 creates a hauntingly beautiful atmosphere. How about your favorite's chord progression? Is there a specific song that you associate with a turning point in your life? Eye of the Tiger, by Survivor played during a turning point, making it my motivational anthem. What about your favorite's role in your turning points? Is there a specific song that you associate with a turning point in your life? Eye of the Tiger, by Survivor played during a turning point, making it my motivational anthem. What about your favorite's role in your turning points? Does your favorite song have a specific cultural influence or reference that you find intriguing? Despacito, by Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee brings a Latin flavor that adds cultural richness. What about your favorite's cultural influence? Does your favorite song have a specific cultural influence or reference that you find intriguing? Despacito, by Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee brings a Latin flavor that adds cultural richness. What about your favorite's cultural influence? Is there a specific song lyric that you find thought-provoking or philosophical in your favorite? The lyric, Sometimes I Give Myself the Creeps, from Basket Case, by Green Day is quite thought-provoking. What about your favorite's philosophical lines? Is there a specific song lyric that you find thought-provoking or philosophical in your favorite? The lyric, Sometimes I Give Myself the Creeps, from Basket Case, by Green Day is quite thought-provoking. What about your favorite's philosophical lines? Does your favorite song have a specific key change that you find impactful? The key change in I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston adds a powerful emotional depth. What about your favorite's key change? Does your favorite song have a specific key change that you find impactful? The key change in 
I Will Always Love You, by Whitney Houston adds a powerful emotional depth. What about your favorite's key change? Is there a specific song that you associate with a milestone celebration in your life? Happy Birthday is the classic song I associate with milestone celebrations. What's your milestone celebration song? Is there a specific song that you associate with a milestone celebration in your life? Happy Birthday is the classic song I associate with milestone celebrations. What's your milestone celebration song? Does your favorite song have a specific tempo change that you find dynamic? The tempo change in Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen adds a dynamic and theatrical element. How about your favorite's tempo change? Does your favorite song have a specific tempo change that you find dynamic? The tempo change in Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen adds a dynamic and theatrical element. How about your favorite's tempo change? Is there a specific song that you consider your pump-up anthem before an important event? Eye of the Tiger by Survivor is my go-to pump-up anthem before big moments. Do you have a pre-event pump-up song? Is there a specific song that you consider your pump-up anthem before an important event? Eye of the Tiger by Survivor is my go-to pump-up anthem before big moments. Do you have a pre-event pump-up song? Does your favorite song have a specific theme that resonates with your personal values? What's Up by Four Non Blondes resonates with its theme of questioning and seeking answers. What about your favorite's thematic resonance? Does your favorite song have a specific theme that resonates with your personal values? What's Up? by four non-blondes resonates with its theme of questioning and seeking answers. What about your favorite's thematic resonance? Is there a specific song lyric that you find romantic or heartwarming in your favorite? The lyric, I'm Yours, from, I'm Yours, by Jason Mraz is romantically simple yet powerful. What about your favorite's romantic lines? Is there a specific song lyric that you find romantic or heartwarming in your favorite? The lyric, I'm Yours, from, I'm Yours, by Jason Mraz is romantically simple yet powerful. What about your favorite's romantic lines? Does your favorite song have a specific message or lesson that you find meaningful? Imagine, by John Lennon carries a powerful message of peace and unity that I find incredibly meaningful. How about your favorite's message or lesson? Does your favorite song have a specific message or lesson that you find meaningful? Imagine, by John Lennon carries a powerful message of peace and unity that I find incredibly meaningful. How about your favorite's message or lesson? Is there a specific song that you associate with a sporting event or competition? We Will Rock You, by Queen is a classic anthem for sporting events. What's your go-to sports anthem? Is there a specific song that you associate with a sporting event or competition? We Will Rock You, by Queen is a classic anthem for sporting events. What's your go-to sports anthem? 
Does your favorite song have a specific cultural or historical context that you find interesting? American Pie by Don McLean has cultural and historical references that make it intriguing. What about your favorite's cultural or historical context? Does your favorite song have a specific cultural or historical context that you find interesting? American Pie by Don McLean has cultural and historical references that make it intriguing. What about your favorite's cultural or historical context? Is there a specific song lyric that you find empowering or uplifting in your favorite? The lyric, I'm Walking on Sunshine, from Walking on Sunshine, by Katrina and the Waves is pure positivity. What about your favorite's empowering lines? Is there a specific song lyric that you find empowering or uplifting in your favorite? The lyric, I'm Walking on Sunshine, from, Walking on Sunshine, by Katrina and the Waves is pure positivity. What about your favorite's empowering lines? Does your favorite song have a specific instrumentation or arrangement that you find innovative? The use of synths in Sweet Child O Mine by Guns N' Roses was innovative for its time. What about your favorite's innovative instrumentation? Does your favorite song have a specific instrumentation or arrangement that you find innovative? The use of synths in Sweet Child O Mine by Guns N' Roses was innovative for its time. What about your favorite's innovative instrumentation?